All right, so here we are again. Um, my beloved, perfect F-350, 2000, 97,000, not even, yeah, 97,001 mile. Actually, standard ZF-6 tranny. Um, been an awesome truck. I've owned it since 03. So when I got it, had 24,000 miles on it. But yesterday, going to the post office, checking my mail, stranded me. Broke my heart. So anyways, what I'm doing now is I'm getting ready to change my camshaft positioning sensor, CPS. So I know there's been a recall on this. This one probably hasn't been done. So yesterday I had to pick this up. Hopefully this fixes it. If not, then I got to go a different direction. So, cranks over, won't start, won't even try, just keeps cranking. So I'm hoping that this is it. This is this is a common part that's known to go, on, go bad on these guys. You either have a black one, and I guess there's a blue gray one out, and then there's these gray ones, which are the replacement ones. These things are like, I think I paid like 27 bucks for this, and I know that the black ones are desirable, people want them. So if I got a black one, I'll probably just keep it and then hopefully check it out. Uh, but they're, they're prone to failure. And there's like three other, four other parts on this thing that are prone to failure too. Sensors. And I'm if I don't get this guy in and this doesn't work, then I'm going to have to go and change those. And those are the, the ICP, which is another control pressure sensor, injection control pressure sensor. The Glopo solenoids on these also go bad, so I'm probably going to replace that. And then there's the IPR, which is a little bit more expensive. Uh, it's, I don't know, it's about 150 bucks. And then the ICP is about 50 bucks, I found when I got them on order. So hopefully they get here and I can get those in as well. Um, the IPR is the injection pressure re regulator valve. And that goes out on these guys quite a bit. And you lose power and you lose fuel and you lose all kinds of stuff. Prevents. Uh, your your pump from working properly so I'm also gonna be checking probably the fuel water separator and then like I said the glow plug relay so anyways this is a simple deal I was trying to get it from the top but it looks like I'm gonna get it from the bottom and supposedly this is all you need deep socket 10 millimeter 3 inch extension 3 8 drive and then a couple screwdrivers or a little pry bar even I'm gonna see if I have my pry bar, but for right now, I always like to pack more than I need. So I got a little flashlight, got a half inch drive, got this guy right here, which is easier to turn in tight spaces. I just gotta turn the handle. Safety glasses, gloves, rags, little stubbies, 3 8 inch stocket, and then plus I got my other tool deals, tool sets. And then I got some oil, and I, I run Schaefer's in my truck. 10 15w40 but i had some left over from my uh bucket five gallon bucket so i put it in the hair so the dello guys i'm sure are going to lose their shit over that one so anyways let's take a look at this this is an easy fix um a lot of people are going up on top good thing to have is a towel too just in case i'm not a midget but my truck is tall it's lifted up so it helps to have a ladder and then uh, I was looking at it from up here, but this is really hard. It's underneath all this stuff, underneath your your belts and your overflow. So I'm actually going to get it from underneath. And if you come down here and check this out. Oh. This might be a little hard to see. So I've already unplugged it. It's actually this little white tab. Let me get past the fuel lines right there. And you can see it. that's it right there so there's a 10 millimeter little uh, socket it's just got to come out and then I also got this this little clip I already pulled out it's really easy to get out and you can see that I've already done my EPV valve in line those things were the first things that were starting to give me trouble and they were just so dirty and nasty I got rid of those so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this out and then I'll show you guys and then uh, we'll put the new one in and we'll see if she fires up. All right, later.